Hi guys, 6.15.23. I got uh, three titles, Hear Me Roar, Awaken, and Justice. So the first one, Hear Me Roar, a holy roar. The mighty one of Israel is standing up to defend, protect, and take the kingdom. Evil's reign on the earth is coming to an end. A few short years and they will be conquered. The millennial reign where the holy possess the kingdom and Christ reigns from his throne over the whole world. Hallelujah. The long awaited king. Raise your praise. Raise your prayers. Raise your hopes. Christ is about to appear for you. Christ is to soon set his feet on the earth and shake the powers of darkness. Christ is about to use his brightness and his holy power to take down the evil of this world. Rejoice! Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Praise King Jesus, all the world. Here's the second one. Awaken. Now at this point, I saw an angel flying back and forth. Okay? The gates of Babylon will fall. The gates of the proud will fall. I will shake the world. I will shake the world with a tumult that rocks the sea. All of creation will know of my arrival. When I step on the earth, I will break the ground into three. I will come for justice and I will shake every tree. What is the purpose? Why would this be? I care much more than you could imagine that all find God through me. The third one. Why is this just? Some feel that I should only be kindness and love. Is it kind to allow evil to rule? Is it loving to not warn that righteousness is essential and there are consequences for wickedness? The very nature of justice is having a standard that does not change with which to measure all by the same standard. The only true equitable thing that can occur is that all are judged by the same standard. My Father, God's holiness, is the standard. I am the only way to Him. I gave my life and conquered death for you and all your sins. If you accept me as your Savior, then through my sacrifice I can wipe away your sins and you can be seen as holy by the courts of heaven. But rest assured, no one lacking holiness will pass through the gates of heaven. Those that will persistently choose man's ways for their eternal choices will eventually and unfortunately choose the mark of the beast. When I return and place my feet on the Mount of Olives, I will be coming for justice. All those who have not met the required standard of holiness will have their just recompense. When my father sent me to be raised on the earth, my feet were on the ground. I walked on the Mount of Olives. I walked as a man. When my feet come to the Mount this time, I will come with full power and authority of the King that I am, the one who sits at the right hand of God. I will shatter the mountain into two pieces. All will know what is happening is different. Eventually, the kings in their pride will gather people to fight their dark king against me. This is futile. I will come to that war armed with myriads of soldiers and angels. Their intimidation will be evident, but their pride will keep them in rebellion. For with the mark of the beast, they will have sealed their souls in wickedness and received all of the just recompense owed. My power is so great that with just a word, I will slay them. I will bind the evil one and their dark king and their magician. Many who partook of the mark will be left to fight. They will have a year of consequences before their demise, a just recompense. Do not follow wickedness. You have been warned. It is essential you learn how to be sanctified, holy, and righteous. It is through me. I am Jesus, the Messiah, the one and only Messiah. That's it. I hope that is encouraging and I'll see you next time.